Hello and welcome to this Spotlight episode on Twin Sisters, a short review of some lesser-known locomotives from the early days of steam. Before the emergence of Rocket and later Planet as the dominant form of locomotive design, locomotive builders were experimenting with different and often very unusual forms of boiler, wheels and propulsion, including famously William Brunton, who built a locomotive with legs, or William Chapman, whose patent locomotive hauled itself along a chain. Twin Sisters stands out amongst these early experiments as being the first locomotive to be designed to burn coke, and therefore comply with the Liverpool and Manchester Railway Act, and thus all other railway acts which followed, which stated that locomotives were to consume their own smoke under the penalty of a heavy fine. Twin Sisters was built at Robert Stevenson and Company's work at 4th Street in Newcastle. The boiler of Twin Sisters was designed by Henry Booth, the secretary, treasurer and general manager of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway. It was his second essay in boiler design. His first boiler design being that for Lancashire Witch, which will feature in a later video. The boiler was built in Birkenhead by William and John Laird, whose shipyard would later become the famous Camel Laird Company. The boiler was first tested in November 1828. In March 1829, the board of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway requested its chief engineer, George Stevenson, to get a locomotive ready to help with the construction of the line and the result was Twin Sisters. She had two vertical boilers and two chimneys, no doubt hence her name. The cylinders were mounted either side of the boiler at an angle of 39 degrees and measured 9 inches bore by 24 inches stroke. She was carried on six wooden wheels 4 feet in diameter. All the wheels were sprung. Boiler pressure was 50 psi, and steam from both boilers passed into a common steam header, from which steam for the cylinders was drawn. The slide valves were driven from eccentrics on the rear axle. She arrived at Liverpool from Newcastle by sea on the 13th of July 1830, and was put to work working ballast trains in the Olive Mount Cutting at the Liverpool end of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway. Her crew were Thomas George and Robert Creed. Thomas George went on to be the first driver of Planet. Despite her unusual appearance, Twin Sisters was a success, being able to move over 50 tonnes with a speed of 10 to 12 miles an hour. She was estimated to be at least 12 horsepower. It was estimated by John Dixon, the resident engineer, that if Twin Sisters were at work for 12 hours a day, the company could dispense with at least 20 horses and men from construction costs. During August 1829, as part of George Stevenson's programme of research and development for Rocket, Twin Sisters was used by him as a testbed for his experiments on various types and locations of blast pipes. A similar engine was built to work on the three-foot plateway at Penny Darren in South Wales. She was at work until 1831. Sadly, in February of that year, she was involved in a fatal accident at Manchester when goods guard William Tuburn, who had become benumbed with cold, fell from the wagon on which he was riding and was run over and killed. At the end of the year, she was broken up and one cylinder was used to work a pump at Manchester Liverpool Road Station. Unusual twin sisters may have been, but her boiler design proved that coke could be successfully burned by a locomotive, paving a way for the massive growth of the railways from 1830 onwards, railways which before Matthew Kirtley had invented the brick arch for the efficient burning of coal in 1856, was entirely powered by coke. So that's a spotlight on Twin Sisters. If you have any questions about Twin Sisters or other early locomotives, please comment below. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.